In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five more amazing facts about the lovable Cocker Spaniel. Welcome back to the Fenrir Spaniel Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Spaniel breeds. Then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Spaniels. So if you're a lifelong Spaniel lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Spaniel, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Spaniel video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll uncover five more magnificent facts about the amazing Cocker Spaniel. Starting off with fact number five. These dogs were a passenger on the Mayflower. This ship set sail from England in July of 1620 and landed in what would eventually be known as New England in September of the same year. There's a record that indicates two dogs being aboard the ship. One was a Mastiff and the other was a Spaniel. Now all of the different types of Spaniels such as Cocker Spaniels, Springer Spaniels and Field Spaniels hadn't been differentiated yet, but everyone is pretty sure the one on board was a Cocker. It was a small Spaniel that was used to hunt Woodcock, which at first was all it took to be a Cocker Spaniel. In at fact number four is that these dogs are mighty cancer detectors. In fact, Cocker Spaniels were the first cancer detecting dog. We're not quite sure how they do it but we know they can. It's believed that cancer cells give off an odour that the dog can detect even when we can't. In 2004 a study was performed in England. They used six dogs to see if they could sniff out the disease and Tangle, a Cocker Spaniel, was the best at it. With no training, he was able to sniff out cancer in 6 out of 10 samples. Researchers then worked with Tangle and his success rate increased to 80%. Next is fact number 3. These dogs inspired the fashion industry. Paul Sperry was inspired by his Cocker Spaniel named Prince. The dog was capable of running on the ice without slipping and so Sperry wanted a closer look. Spaniels have small wave-like grooves on their paw pads that give them extra traction. In 1935 he got a patent for the first ever boating shoes. The grooves are in the white soles of the shoe and provide extra traction but won't scuff surfaces that are walked on. They quickly became popular and today are used on and off boats. Fact number two is all about the popularity of this breed. It's no surprise that a lovable, sweet and patient dog is a popular companion, but how popular are they? The Cocker Spaniel is the UK's most popular Spaniel breed and they take the third overall spot. Due to their nature, they make amazing family companions and the kids will adore them just as much as they love the children. In the US, the Cocker was the most popular between the 30s and 50s, giving them a 26 year reign as the most popular dog breed. They made a brief comeback in the 80s and today they're ranked at the 30th most popular dog breed. And finally, fact number one. We all know this breed is extremely popular. Celebrities love them, they've starred in films. The dog from the Coppertone logo is a Cocker Spaniel. But did you know you may also find this dog on your mail? That's right, many countries have stamps that feature the Cocker Spaniel. It's not a shock that a lot of different countries have chosen to sport this dog on their postage in the past or the present. They're ranked number 41 in the world for popular dog breeds and they're competing against a lot. There are over 300 dog breeds and this small but mighty pooch has managed to break the top 50. That's an astounding feat. Some of their stamps are so old that they're now considered collector items and will cost you much more than your everyday stamp. I hope you enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated spaniel videos coming here every week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir spaniel show